Hi everyone, my name is Toby, uh, username 99 of 9, and I thought I'd uh, demonstrate my new Chrome browser extension called Wikidata Connect. Uh, I'm going to start out on this page. Uh, if I happen to be browsing iNaturalist and come across this uh, particular genus of oysters, uh, you'll notice this little um, button up here. This is the special button for my new um, browser extension, so Wikidata Connect says, has access to that site. I chose this particular genus because I recognized uh, Susan Hewitt on the leaderboard. Uh, she's a, a Wikipedian who has um, helped me greatly uh, with gastropod work that I've done in the past, but uh, anyway, uh, let's, let's see how the um, extension goes. So all I do is click this button, uh, it does a query based on the URL of the site that I'm currently on. Uh, tries to figure out if that fits in with any URL formats matching Wikidata properties. If it does, it extracts the um, identifier in that URL, comes up with a, a particular Wikidata item. So it knows here that um, this is item number 542708 and um, then shows a whole bunch of information about this species. So everything down here is drawn directly from Wikidata Live. Um, and so we uh, could connect the Wikipedia site of this article uh, or the Wiki species item. You get a little bit of information and then a whole bunch of external links to other sites where you might find out more about these oysters. So that's, I think, already quite useful for connecting. Uh, Wikidata Connect, we're co connecting across all kinds of different um, pages without having to actually go via Wikidata. Yeah, it can do this lookup by itself. Uh, I'll show you what happens then if we go on a similar page, so uh, higher up the taxonomic chain. Uh, this subfamily, if you notice, according to um, uh, let's see about this one. Uh, you notice that uh, iNaturalist knows that there is no page on Wikipedia about this subfamily. Uh, they are kindly offering a template to get us started at creating this page. Um, so, so what happens if there is no uh, Wikipedia or indeed Wikidata item? Well, let's try that. We run the query again on this new um, page. And it just tells us that there's no result found. We can't, we can't do anything here. So um, that's what you get on a site where um, we're not yet connected. Uh, maybe you need to add this identifier to a particular Wikidata item or maybe create a new item in process. Uh, let me give you a second example. I'm going to go through a few on the top of the screen here. Um, so this is Lord Howe Island, an Australian island, and this is the Australian census data for that island. Uh, beautiful island if you ever want to travel. Um, so again, we'll just click uh, um, extension button. It does the same lookup, figures out that this little identifier here is already matched to Wikidata item here and we get a whole bunch of information about that island, including who it's named after and what body of water it's in. Uh, we, could, we could click through to pictures. I haven't included any in the um, extension itself at the moment, but we may well draw some uh, in the future editions. And again, a bunch of different identifiers. If you um, happen to not use English as your main language, so let's switch to German. Um, all of these languages, of course, are again drawn from Wikidata, um, and so are now all our translations. So uh, hopefully this um, can be used by any of you um, in any language you like. Um, you'll notice that both the property names and the values have also been translated. Now notice that, uh, well, I don't know if you, you will see for sure, but, um, but there are less items here, um, in particular any item that has not been translated into this new language, uh, both for the um, uh, property name, I, I, actually that's the most important um, to translate the property name. So if you're seeing, if you're in a language, let's choose a, a um, much rarer language, um, you'll find that the output is, is much slimmer. Uh, here we go, we've only got Wikidata linked there. That's because lots of these property names are not uh, translated into Archer at all. 
anyway, let's uh, try some more. So Elizabeth II, who um, is translated in many languages, I know. So here's um, her page on Encyclopedia Britannica. It doesn't need to be in any way related to Wikipedia. Um, here's her lovely family photo. And you might see a lot of these sites try to provide information. And so if I open their external websites information, uh, here you can see that they, they are aware of a few other websites about the Queen, uh, but um, not many really. So let's try our tool, Wikidata Connect, click it away. It obviously w works out that this is uh, Elizabeth II in uh, English, and uh, now we get a long, long list of all her awards received, of course, um, lots of information about her. This is all obviously available on Wikidata itself if you're willing to go that step and click through, but um, but if you if you're keen for a quick summary, here, here it all is. Uh, similarly, again, you have lots of click through links to um, other locations and identifiers. Uh, often, some of them seem duplicated. That's typically because they're they're in different languages. Um, I have not at the moment screened these uh, sub links for which which language uh, edition they go to, but. Um, at the moment, there's plenty of places to click through to, and uh, there we go. That's what we see here. Uh, I'll show you one unusual example. So this, this doesn't happen very often, but uh, here's a beetle species uh, in GBIF. Uh, if I click the extension here, uh, it's giving me a suggestion that I need to select an entity. And so if we open that up, you'll see that there are actually two Wikidata items both matched to this same identifier. So notice that they're very similarly spelt and so perhaps uh, perhaps they are in fact the same uh, taxon or perhaps they're meant to be different and, and shouldn't be associated with the same species. Either way, this gives us a, a little bit of a chance to, to think about that and figure out whether a merge is necessary or uh, whether in fact one of the identifiers is in the wrong place. So we could certainly uh, choose one of them, go to the Wikidata site, so I can open that up and see exactly what is going on on that um, particular beetle species page. Um, so that's, I think, useful for editing itself. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, I'd just like to actually demonstrate it twice more by showing you these uh, people who helped me along the journey. Uh, Roderick Page uh, spurred the idea with a Twitter post or something like that about um, uh, bookmarklets to link data together. Uh, so I pursued that um, idea and it turned out that an extension was a little more powerful than a bookmarklet in this case, although I, I am still learning all of that. Uh, so if I click on Roderick, Roderick's Twitter uh, and um, click through, it recognizes his Twitter handle and we can find out all kinds of information about him himself. So thanks, Rod. Uh, it was great to um, meet you virtually, and um, thanks for the idea in the first place. The next uh, credit I'll give is to uh, Stephen J. Buskauf. I hope I said that right. Um, if we go to his uh, ORCID page, again, this, is, um, this can be detected um, because, again, ORCID has one of these identifiers in its URL. Uh, and so we can click through to see his um, details. And in particular, I'd like to credit his uh, official blog because that is where I learned a lot about how to query Wikidata with uh, JavaScript and um, to make this, this kind of um, uh, window. So a lot of these drop-down models, in fact, came from one of the, his example toy models that he showed on his blog. So thanks a lot. Stephen, uh, and I'll conclude that by saying thanks everyone for listening. Bye for now.